I describe myself as a loose creative. As I work in science, technology, projections, content creation. I have ideas and I want to make them reality. So when people ask me about Astral Project, what we're known for, I always say that we are really under the radar. We are in the back rooms, generally doing things that haven't been done before. From plants, to buildings, to mountains, to rocks, we can hack the surfaces of those objects and things and turn them into something else. Reimagine them, in effect. Projection mapping is the way in which we can transform the surfaces around us and the environments around us into an infinite possibility. So I started working with Epson projectors, I've never used them before in the past. As soon as we got them, I realized that the color balance on it was really great for projection mapping. It was a very vivacious, extravagant color that came from these projectors. And we're attracted to that because we're looking for contrast. We're looking for the ability to explode colors as much as possible. I got four Epson laser projectors and I had a collection of gigs that were around the world. We put these projectors in flight cases and we took them with us, expecting maybe there would be a hiccup along the way. And they operated every single time. We pulled them out, turned them on, and it worked. That for me is the acid test. Working in the desert with projections is inherently terrible, especially traditionally with bulb projectors. They create so much heat, it's like trying to cool down the sun but using dusty air. So we encounter that problem head on we created a sealed environment. We're pressurizing this case that the projector is in so that all of the little cracks and the holes that are in there, there's air pouring out, not coming in. The cases that we built house the projector, but these ones are interesting because we're using the UST lenses, which are like snorkels. So in fact, the lenses are actually firing back the other way. Working with the XO2 lens, it allows us to put the projector right in front of the wall that we're projection mapping. What we've got is an MDF case and the lens port is coming through cine glass which is very pure glass that doesn't distort the light. And then into that, we've connected a pressurized air filtration system. It is vacuuming the air up, filtering it through hat filters, and then distributing the air out to all the cases. We're using six of the 15K laser projectors, hard edge blend in a circle. The surface that we're projecting is 196 feet wide by 13 feet high. First thing is just to survive. Set up camp, get a place where you can hide out from the sun. And then once night falls, we can start to connect this air filtration system, the circulatory device. And then once that is operating and functional, then we'll drive out with the projectors and one by one, we'll lift them into position, connect them to the filtration system, and then start turning them on. When working in close proximity, resolution is really important. And working with the 4K E mode on these projectors allows us to upscale the resolution so it's perceived to be a 4K image. Working with Epson technology, yes, it's great. Yeah, it's reliable, the color is amazing, the power is low. But in essence, what it really allows me to do is just to get on with making art. 